Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. This question comes from Kim. Hey, Wendy, I just had my first ride in my arrow bars, and I'm looking for some tips. I love to hear what upper body strengthening exercises you do. Mine felt very fatigued only after 15 minutes of biking in my arrow bars. I already do chest press push-ups and some rows. Thanks in advance. Hoping to be hoping to bike in a straighter line as well. Hey Kim, that's something that we all experience when we get into a new bike position. Um, the big thing about going from a road bike position where you're just holding on to the, the, the hoods versus getting in an air narrow, an arrow position is your back is retracted. So you have a rounder back to reach out in the arrow bars. Okay. So specific strengthening to help enhance you to think about pulling your shoulder blades back and down your spine. Number one is taking a Pilates class. I actually learned that in 2010. Um, Pilates definitely helped me bring my shoulder blades back and down my spine. And I constantly thinking about that throughout the day. And then there's a lot of other exercises that Dave and I have demonstrated on the endurance hour YouTube channel that I just kind of want to link to. Um, I do, I have a, a video called my favorite band movements. That's going to use, you're going to be doing, um, pull downs with bands as various shoulder exercises with bands. Dave demonstrates a 30 minute fantastic core workout with Dave Erickson, because the reason you want to make sure you are doing your core is your core is stabilizing you on the, on the bike and, um, strengthening your core, the area between your shoulders and hips front and back is going to help you with that riding in a straight line. And it's going to just, it helps you in all your sports because that's the center of your strength. So it's going to help stabilize you on the bike and it's going to help you with that upper body strength. So you're not putting so much weight on your arms. You're going to be holding yourself up a little bit with your core. So definitely check out the 30 minute fantastic core workout with Dave. And then I also have a video on the YouTube channel called core stability explained. And I demonstrate more movements with body weight, dumbbells, as well as bands. You sh I would recommend all those to help you uh, manage the fatigue you're feeling in the arrow bar position. And again, because you're protracted, you want to work on opening up your chest, retracting your shoulder blades, and just getting stronger doing that is going to help alleviate some stress on your neck, as well as getting a bike fit. You may be putting too much weight on your upper body if your upper body sore and you just may need to tweak your bike fit in the arrow position. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video.